Welcome back. It's still Dateline Lagos, and this time we turn our attention to the Deputy Governor of the state, Mrs. Olurotsi Adebule. She inspected some ongoing projects in model colleges and also commissioned Herbert Macaulay Library in Yaba. It's a tour of the ongoing construction of model colleges across the state, led by Deputy Governor Olunote Adebule and other officials. The first port of call is the Angus Memorial High School in Shomolu. She's pleased by the level of work. From there, she moves to the Lagos City Senior College, Yaba. Still in the area, Mrs. Adibule commissions the ultra-modern Herbert Macaulay Library. The main goal of this project is to transform the facilities into knowledge centers and promote the reading culture among the youth. The objective of the library is being achieved through a partnership with Guarantee Trust Bank under the Adopt a Library Initiative. I would like to thank the Lagos State Government for giving Guarantee Trust the opportunity to partner with them on this new read initiative. There's going to be called Lagos Center here. That's open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. And we're going to have streams of people. It runs for one and a half hours. So we're going to run like four to five classes every week, Monday to Friday. So if you want to learn how to code in this axis, all you need to do is to register for a class and you have free coding lessons courtesy of the Lagos State Government. Then to Ojo to inspect the Awori Senior College. Here the story is different. Nothing has been put here. Nothing is on the, is on the ground here. For how many months? Even if we did all of this in April, and here we are in July, why are we? Why are we still at this stage? She asks the contractors to continue their work, promising to return for an assessment. Last year, the executive council um, approved of the fact that about 10 billion naira be spent in the Ministry of Education for innovation, rehabilitation, and constructions of new school buildings. Of course, of all the amount that I've mentioned, we have eight new buildings to be constructed, schools, and out of which we have three model colleges. Of the three model colleges is the one in Angus, in Bariga, then at um, City College in Yaba, and here in Awori College. Together, as you can all see, we've been to Angos in Bariga. We've also been to Yaba, and ha here we are in Ojo in Awori College. I am particularly not very happy about the pace of the work here. And um, by the grace of God, I hope to be back here in the next uh, one month to see how far they have gone and, of course, to assess the progress of work done here. But clearly, I've had discussion with them, and I hope they're going to improve on the pace of work here because they've been mobilized. And having been mobilized, they should then do what is expected of them. It's our belief that we shouldn't just, because we want to provide school buildings for our young ones, provide just anything for them. But if you look at the, num of the amenities that are in this new school model, they are just the basic things that we, a, a functional school we require and we know with the provision of this education and the students in this particular school will i mean will learn better teaching learning will be very smooth because the science laboratories are there the library the library is there and of course they have a very modern um auditorium in there that again give them an opportunity for them to exhibit their potentials for programs to be organized, for them to do debates and all of this note. These we know should be, should be what um, the building of, I mean, a school should be. And that's what we're doing. Education, they say, is the key to success. And that's why the Lagos State Government says it's doing all it can to provide a conducive environment for learning. The plan to end street trading by the Lagos State Government is receiving a boost with the distribution of 30 corner shops to traders at the Central Business District in Lagos Island. Let's see this next report. 
In Lagos State, the fight against street trading has received a boost with the introduction of corner shops for market men and women. In the Oniko area, traditional rulers, Lagos State officials, a team from Mikano International Limited have come to donate corner shops to market men and women within the Lagos Central Business District. The managing director of Mikano International says he is delighted to provide the corner shops to support the Cleaner Lagos Initiative. These 30 corner shops being donated today is also just a part of a number of other commitments from Mikano in support of the Noble Vision. We at Mikano express our gratitude to the Lagos State Government and the entire Lagosians for all support accorded this brand, Mikano International Limited, a unique household name. We also pledge our continued support to the administration of Governor Ambodi and Lagos State as a whole. The Special Advisor on Central Business District commends the gesture. When we started this um, issue of shops, we decided to write to companies to see what they can do for us. Fortunately for us, Maikano accepted to do it for us. The administration of His Excellency, Mr. Akim Yambode, the Governor of Lagos State, is committed to fast tracking the vision of turning our dear state to an enviable mega city. A role model not only to other states of the Federation, but also to other mega cities in the world. However, it is pertinent to note that this vision will not be achieved by depriving of our, the of our people of their daily means of survival, but rather to develop them alongside with our vision. This effort may aim at ensuring even development of the states and also improving on our usual way of doing things. Calls for removal of street trading with its attendance to risk to human life and dirty environments. And then appreciation follows from the beneficiaries. What they have brought to us today, I'm so much impressed. Then I appreciate it. I want you people to be maintained it. Cleanliness is also very important, and that's why a sanitation task force has been inaugurated to ensure a cleaner market across the Lagos Island. Our environments clean and ensure that our markets are being kept clean. That is where we spend most of our time daily. Even if we are permitted, we would choose to sleep in the market. But it is forbidden in Lagos states. Uh, please. Ensure that we get rid of street trading. I mean, that, that is the essence of uh, CBA. Ensure street trading is forbidden. The highlight of the event was the handing over of the shops to the lucky ones. <laughs> and this is what the beneficiaries have to say. Today is my happiness day for our life. May God continue to bless Mikel and the government state of Lagos. Today is my happiest day. So I bless the I'm a governor Ambody. I praise it. Thank you to Governor Ambody. Then a uh, CBD dog uh, honorable Dabiri. I praise honorable Dabiri. Thank you. With partnerships like this, the Lagos State Government believes street trading will soon be eradicated. It's been so good being on the program. Hope you enjoyed every bit. Please send your comments and questions to our social media portal. I'm Loretta Chiogo, and bye for now.